Welcome back everybody. I've got this hexagon done and the little triangles in the middle. All those little detail pieces done. So we're down to ground level ladder pentagons. That ladder. And right now, gotta get the awkward pieces in. Gotta clean out up here. Hold on, I'll get you a light. Gotta clean the original fiberglass out from that point there. Get foam fished in behind this loft. Make this as tight as possible. So, I just clean that out with the old bread knife. Ready to go there. Now is where we make use of our scrap pieces like these rectangles here because there's no way that's going to go in in one piece anyway. So I've used one of them and copied an ordinary triangle here. But I'll have to cut it again in order to get it in place there. Just uh, cut it right down the middle kind of. And here we see, as none of these triangles are exactly the same, this needs a little trim. Now here we want a tight spray foam seal around the edges, but I can't use the usual technique of doing it after the material's in place. So I have to apply it to these two edges first. Apply! What's wrong with you? Hold on. And apply. There we go. And we rely on the fact that this spray foam continues to expand for quite a while after it's in place. And it will fill that gap. And then the spray foam at these edges. We'll push it in that direction and help to tighten everything up. Ah, this prop's going to have to move out of the way. Careful! It's going to have to become something else. Let's see what would be our ideal piece of lumber here. 16 inches. Thank you. 
So, all of that's done, everything above, I've got most of the pieces cut for these other two lower pentagons, but there's wiring that has to be done yet. Here's the feed for this area. But it needs to go down to a receptacle there, and over to that one there, and also over to this here that does all that outdoor switching. And then we need to run another circuit from the utility room, of course. But this time, going this way, through the closet ceiling, and into the bedroom ceiling here, so we can get all the way over to the other end and bring it down over here through this other lower pentagon and into this triangle that has all this switching for the driveway receptacle and lights and this wall light here and then I get all these pieces made for the bedroom corner here and then we have another situation where we have to slip it back behind this wall and then we'll take this plywood off later uh, we're going to leave it alone right now because it still has the original insulation in it and then again we can't insulate this area until we run all the utilities through here Our new wires for the driveway receptacle and lights and uh, refrigerant lines for the new heat pump. But for the most part, tomorrow we will be insulated. So, once again, if you would like to contribute to our restoration project, you can do so at fullerdomehome.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.